Hello and welcome to episode 86 of my WWE 2K14 Universe mode. Today we have main event. I finally got ECW uploaded after I think it was 5 or 6 times. It's a lot of times it took to upload but I finally got it on. So now we can record some main event and before we start I want to give a shout out to my friend Chloe again. Uh, f a few, I think it was about a week ago actually I did the last shout out for her. And yeah, you know, she's nice and cute and stuff and yeah and messaging and facebooking and whatever you know you know and now i say this every video you know now but i keep explaining it so i'm just gonna give a shout out to the person and then just that's it because you know now so let's open the show quickly we've got sin Cara taking on darren young our truth is amazing taking on damien sandow i've got the real taking on Kof kingston in the main event diesel is going to be facing eddie guerrero and Shawn michaels is going to be diesel's corner with rim and rim stereo is going to be in Eddie Guerrero's corner. I had to think about that there. You see. It's the first time I've seen Sin Cara in ages, you know. Oh, talking of WWE, uh, people, uh, a lot of people were released from the contracts today. Uh, JTG, Drew McIntyre, Jinder Mahal, um, Camacho, Brodus Clay, Yoshitatsu, and Evan Bourne, just to name a few. There's a few more as well. Tyson O'Neill is not here tonight because of some personal problems, so Darren Young's gonna have to go it alone. One half of the prime time players. The prime time players. Make it move, make it move, make it move, make it move, we can lose, we get money at the full. Triple, quadruple, potato. Jesus. So Darren Young and Sing are opening main event here tonight. As I was saying, yeah, there's some people who've got released from, uh, I was going to say WCW, WWE. I've named a few JTG, Drew McIntyre, Jinder Mahal. Uh, Rudders Clear, Yoshitatsu, Evan Bourne. Uh, I'm trying to remember some others. There was Oksana, she got released. Uh, Mark Harris, a referee. Um, Camacho. And there was one other person, I can't remember who it was. But yeah, there's a lot of people being released today by WWE. And the most shocking one to me was, well, Drew McIntyre, because I thought they could actually, I thought they would have um, ended the 3 MB team sooner and. Uh, got um, given Drew McIntyre a push maybe towards some uh, mid card title or some maybe the WWE, I th thought they could have put him in the money in the bank match for the uh, World Heavyweight WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That would have given McIntyre a huge push, but no, McIntyre has been released. That was Mahal, and that's two of the three MB gone. He is just going back to being the one man band now. Unless, unless they stay, keep him with Hornswoggle, which I doubt they will. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, there's a full list on WWE website, and... Um, I'm surprised at some of them. JTG, finally getting released. He's not been on television for nine months, so... Um, who else was released? Um... I can't remember who else. I did say the rest of them, but uh, JTG, JTG, Drew McIntyre, and Jinder Mahal are the ones 
Well, I least expected actually. Uh, Brodus Clay, I don't really care about. Camacho, don't really care about. Xana is kind of a surprise. After um, she was just being involved in the uh, Divas angle with Paige and Alicia recently. So I don't know what's happened with. Uh, uh, I think it's because um, uh, Alicia um, Alicia attacked Xana. And I need a way to write her off or something, I don't know. Don't, quite, don't ask me about WWE logic. Darren Young goes for the submission. I think Kyra's probably going to be one of my main jobbers. Darren Young winning with the dirty pin. Well done, Darren Young, for winning. Let's not. Making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. Got that million dollar swag and the thousand dollar shoes. Making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. This is all we do is pick and shoot. Making moves, we can't lose. We got money at the food, triple high. I can't really sing this song because I don't really know the lyrics. But let's go on to the next match. The next match, I've got it written down because I actually planned it out, is Our Truth Taking on Damien Sandow. The truth has set me miz. <laughs> Don't ask. I think Sandow is going to be on the verge of being released sometime soon because of his stupid gimmick changes. I don't like that. There was this Twitter account that were, um, tweeted earlier called Knocking Out. Um, they tweeted a tweet saying, "Who, if you were Vince McMahon, who would you fire, who would you hire, and who would you push? Uh, for fire, I chose JTG, but this was before he was released. Uh, for hire, I chose Kevin Steen, and apparently they've hired Kevin Steen according to someone uh, on uh, Twitter, but I don't think that's a have. And who would I push? Ziggler. And everyone, nearly everyone put Ziggler. And I think we want to see Ziggler getting pushed. Ziggler got pushed towards the World Heavyweight title. Then he had that World Heavyweight title feud with Alberto Del Rio. 
Then he went into a mixed tag team match with Caitlin against AJ Biggie Langston at SummerSlam. And we've not really seen him since, so he went downhill from there, but I think if um Dolph Ziggler doesn't make it in the Money in the Bank match, I think he deserves a shot maybe at Battleground or a, um maybe a slow push leading up to SummerSlam maybe. And people on Twitter have been annoyed about uh, Daniel Bryan getting stripped to the title. I'm actually not that bothered because the rules say you have to defend your title in 30 days and if you're injured then you can't defend your title. So uh, it's better to have an active champion who can actually defend the title than uh, an inactive champion who can't defend the title because the champion needs to be a guy who's active and can put on great matches. And apparently, uh, at the mo well, not apparently, but at the moment, um, Brian can't do that. He's still recovering from his neck surgery. Daniel Bryan may get a title shot at Battleground or, or SummerSlam, but on the other, uh, on the other hand, he's still one more spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match for the title. So I'm thinking maybe they're going to put Daniel Bryan in there. He'll he'll come back and um, he'll come back get that spot and then win the title. That's probably that's what I'm thinking. I hope it doesn't happen because I actually don't want to see Brian as a title holder anymore. I don't I don't like really long title reigns. I like seeing it changed every every two or three months or something. It's a lot a lot better. Sandow's been dominated this whole match. Still going into a kick out though. Alright then, Miz. Our truth looking for the scissor kick. Is he going to defeat Sandow right here? Yep, that truth picks up an easy win. What a squash by our truth. <laughs> Look at him picks and the highlights in his hair. So tomorrow's Smackdown is going to be my last video before I leave for, well, for, um, I'm going on this boat trip thing. I've got Smackdown tomorrow, that'll be my last video before I go. I've got a Smackdown card planned out, although I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. I think it, I think it seems pretty good, but I don't know. I might change them in, I might tweak the main event match a little bit. I'll explain the card at the end of main event, like at the end of the show, before we finish, obviously. Alberto Del Rio. Don't know. But anyway, Alberto Del Rio.
Dario taking his time to enter. I saw it. I hear them shouting. I saw it. I hear them crying. Little boy, and it's a shame, what a shame, to lose a life, more time, he is mine, I saw it, I hear him crying, the Rio and Kingston, here on main event, this is going to be quite a good match. That real gun shit work on the arm. Why is everybody performing so terribly tonight? Kick to the back by the Rio. Oh, Kingston fighting back though. Ends a great red I don't like Kingston down, but Kingston gets straight back up. And there's um, some people are saying that Kofi Kingston should get released from the WWE. I disagree because I believe that Kofi will get somewhere eventually. No, let me let me rephrase that. I want Kofi to get somewhere eventually. I hope he does. Because Kofi Kingston deserves to have a push. Kofi is probably one of my favourite wrestlers there. Kofi breaking straight out of the sleeper. But Dario is still going to work here. Back wicker. Kofi working on Dario's arm now. Ends a go to Kingston, this might be early. Kofi does need a win to continue his momentum towards SummerSlam. He's facing Randy Savage for the United States Championship and that's that's a big honour to be able to face one of the best in the world. I actually found a Ring of Honor pay-per-view on YouTube earlier, so I might watch it. That's a random statement, but I was thinking about it. I was thinking about how CM Punk left and stuff. So I was just thinking about like Ring of Honor because that's where CM Punk was and where CM Punk may appear again. Apparently, I don't know if it's a rumor or a joke, but uh, someone on Ask a Phone said that uh, CM Punk uh, was come back was coming back to join the Shield. I think that's more of a rumor than a joke. Uh, more of a rumor than a actual, more of a joke even than an actual thing. 
because I doubt Punk would sign side with the Shield. Try work on the armor Kofi is the Rio here. Now go for it again. Step up into Guri by Del Rio. No, Kofi kicking out. Kofi coming back. Kingston. Boom, 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 drop. Del Rio kicking out one, though. Oh, wow. Rio could be getting pinned here by Kingston. Nope. Oh, a lot of bullshit. Does Rio not have ring escapes? Does Rio should really have ring escapes. Come on, I was doing my comeback taunt. How did Rio kick out so quick? I don't know, but Dario coming back. It didn't work. Of course it didn't, Lola. Super kick. Dario goes the roll up. Ropes. Cross arm breaker. Ropes again. Second trouble in paradise. This could be it for Del Rio. Rope break. Dario continuing to work on the arm of Kingston. I don't know what time is, but I promised my friend uh, she could call me at 10, so a minute. 37, alright, okay. Should be fine for a while then. It's alright. Thought it was earlier, I thought it was later than it was. Kick to the back by uh, Dario to Kofi. Wow, why is everybody so negative about Del Rio? Maybe because he maybe because he cheap shots people from behind. Fuck it. Oh shit. Two count. Uh oh, Del Rio now lining up. And now trying to look off to the middle of the ring. Uh oh. Uh 
Kofi rushing leg sweep. Kofi could be picking up momentum here. Did you see how small that pin bar though was there for Dario? Second cross arm breaker to Kofi. And Kofi taps. What a win by Dario. What a match though for main event. This isn't even the main event of main event. The main event of main event is up next. But what a match. Yeah, we're picking up the victory over Kingston. Not a match, though. So Del Rio picks up the winner of the number one contender to the, the United States Championship Cup of Kingston. That was a great match though, it was a lot better than I intended it to be. Uh, but now we've got the main event of main event. Diesel versus Eddie. Sean in Ed, uh, Diesel's corner, Rey Mysterio in Eddie's corner. This is going to be a brilliant match to finish off tonight's episode of the WWE 2K14 Universe Mode. So let's go! Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Shawn Michaels forgot his belt. Pyro goes off. Which it does. <laughs> Santino's feet. Go. Santino's feet. Santino's feet. Santino's feet. Santino's feet. I think Rey Mysterio should go with Eddie in the car though. That would make it amazing. Santino's feet. 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 Santino and his feet. Santino's feet. Feet Santino. Santino's feet. Santino's feet, Santino's feet, Santino's feet. Bow now, 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 Santino's feet, yeah. The heartbreak kid, the kid break hearts, Sean Michaels. I just want to go manager and see what happens. Why not? Why not be a manager for a change? Remy Stereo and Shawn Michaels are going after on the outside. Wow, what a move by Michaels. 
The Fez press. Should leave here down for a bit. Okay, so he automatically breaks out of it, okay. There's Dario. Should have shot Michael's his boss, but in the ring. Shawn Michaels has just come back to Rey Mysterio though, but Diesel taking care of Eddie Guerrero in the ring. I was originally going to play as Eddie Guerrero in this match, but I thought, nah, let's be a manager. No fun. One minute, just moving. Oh no, my double up, my boy. Thank God. Wow, Ray, I said, you're my mentor, you should know that. You speak our language. Michael's uh Uh oh. Sean Michaels try to fire up the crowd here. Yeah. Can you really not hit finishes? That's a little crap. Jagnaf on the outside. Come on, Diesel, you need to pin him. Wow, I didn't even do anything. You're still hurting me. Eddie kicking out at two and a half. Can you really not hit finishes? Michaels knows that Diesel's gonna break out, so he's leaving Diesel to break out. I will tell you. Yeah, fuck off, Mysterio. Yeah, fuck off, Ray. Michaels and 
Well, Matt, well, well, this has been between these two teams. I thought these two teams were at least acquaintances, but no, they've just been going at each other. Making sure that Eddie didn't kick out, but Eddie did kick out. Wow, ref, just shut up, alright? I'm leaving. John Michael's trying to help by put, by weakening Eddie and the ref can do nothing about it. Eddie's at the ropes so Michael's isn't the legal man. Alright, I'm fucking leaving. Calm down. We're not ending it on a shitty ending, Diesel. Come on. Double team. Uh, I said let's... Sean Michaels arguing the referee. Diesel has the cover, though. Diesel has the cover. Diesel still picks up the win, despite Michaels being a dick. Michael, Michael's apologising to Diesel. Diesel's saying, don't worry, it's fine. Let's take a look at some of the big moments. Diesel picks up the win. Oh, Diesel and Eddie. Tremendous amount of respect for each other. Showing respect. Showing that these the teams are friends. They're just competing for, they're just competing for the same thing, and both of them want it. So. To finish off the episode, we're going to see what the SmackDown card and the game's booked and what I have booked. I have planned even. So, th that's the Cody Rhodes and Gabriel, Darren Young and Sin Cara versus Drew McIntyre and Tyson Neal for some reason, Mike Henry and Great Carly, Undertaker and Sandow and Edge uh, against Roman Reigns and Randy Orton. That's not my plan. My plan is. Uh, um, if I can read it, which I can't because there's no light. Stephanie McMahon versus Caitlin to open the show. Then we've got Ray and Eddie versus the primetime players. Cody Rhodes versus Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. Wade Barrett versus Albert Dorio. And this is one I might change. Mark Henry versus The Undertaker with Randy Orton. That's a special guest referee. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that yet or not. So there's your plan for SmackDown. Uh, this has been the main event. I will see you next time. Oh, this has been episode 86, sorry. I'm just kind of cutting off quickly because I want to, you know, go... Sorry, but I do. Uh, so I'll see you next time for some amazing SmackDown. Uh, that'll be the last video before I go on holiday. So, for now, goodbye, I guess. Bye.